हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी सी एग्जांपल्स ऑन मैथमेटिकल एक्सपेक्टेशन एंड वेरिएंस सो फर्स्ट एग्जांपल नंबर वन एंड ऑरन कंटेन्स सेवन व्हाइट एंड थ्री रेड बॉल्स एंड वी हैव टू ड्रॉ टू बॉल्स टुगेदर एट रैंडम फ्रॉम दैट ऑरन देन कंपूट द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट neither of them is white also find the probability of getting one white and one red ball one white and one red ball also and hence we have to compute the expected number of white balls drawn so we have to expectation the number of white balls drawn सोल्यूशन सो लेट कैपिटल एक्स बी आर एंड अवेलेबल सो सच दैट एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ व्हाइट बॉल्स ड्रॉन नाउ हियर व्हाट आर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स आर एक्सट्रैक्ट वैल्यूज हियर यू हैव टू कंपोर्ट द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट नाइदर ऑफ देर इज व्हाइट मींस एक्स टेक्स द वैल्यूज जीरो वी हैव टू आल्सो फाइंड the probability of getting one white and one red ball means x take the value 1 and you have to compute the expected number of white balls drawn so there are i have to draw two balls and two balls are white balls means also x take the value 2 and by definition of mathematical expectation you have to find the expected values of x capital x so here First, how many balls? Total balls are total balls is equal to seven white plus three red. So seven plus three, ten balls. And you have to draw two balls. Two balls are drawn at random. Means from ten balls, you have to draw two balls at Ten C two ways. Therefore, exact number of cases is ten C two. And you have to find the probability that neither of them is white. Means there are seven white balls. So first, you draw the probability that neither of them is white. Means you can draw two balls from the red balls. So you can draw two balls from three red balls. At three C two ways. Therefore, here one number of cases are three C two, and required probability for that is equal to three C two upon ten C two. Therefore, here probability of x is equal to zero. What is probability of x is equal to zero? That the neither of them is white. So is equal to. So you draw the two balls from red balls. Three C two ways. So here the number of cases are three C two upon excess two number of cases. There are ten balls, and you have to draw ten balls in ten C two ways. So you know the formula n C R is equal to factorial n upon n minus R factorial into factorial R. Selection of R thing from n things. Therefore, three C two is equal to factorial three upon three minus two factorial into two factorial upon ten C two means factorial ten upon ten minus two means eight factorial into two factorial. So this can be written as factorial three upon three minus two means one factorial. One factorial means one. Factorial two means two into ten upon this means factorial eight into factorial two upon ten factorial. So factorial two cancel. Factorial eight cancel. So this can be written as Factorial eight into 
9 into 10. So e is equal to factorial 3 means 3 into 2 factorial 10 cancel upon 10 into 9 factorial 8 upon factorial 8 cancel. So e is equal to 1 upon 5 into 3 15. Therefore, probability of x is equal to 0 means probability that neither of them is white is 1 upon 15. Similarly, you find probability of x is equal to 1. That is, find also the probability of getting 1 white and 1 red ball. So, e is equal to, so there are 7 white ball. One white wall can be chosen in 7C1 ways. 7C1 into 7 and another wall can be chosen from 3 red walls. 3C1 upon existing number of cases. 10 balls are drawn. 10 balls are there. 2 balls drawn means 10C2 ways. Existing number of cases. So you know the formula. So, 7C1 means 7 into 10C1 means 3C1 means 3 upon 10C2 factorial 10 upon 10 minus 2 8 factorial into 2 factorial. So, this can be written as 7 into 3 into 8 factorial into 2 factorial upon factorial 10 can be written as factorial 10 into 10 into 9 or 9 into 10. So factorial 8 cancel. Then factorial 2 means 2 into 1. So this is 2 into 1. <coughs> then So, e is equal to 7, here this cancel, 7 upon 15, 5 into 3, 15. Therefore, probability of getting one white and one red ball is 7 upon 15. So, you obtain probability of x is equal to 1 is 7 upon 15. Again, you have to find the probability of x is equal to 2. Drawing two walls, two white walls, e is equal to. So there are seven white walls. So two walls can be drawn in seven C two ways. So every number of cases are seven C two, seven C two. Upon existing number of cases are ten C two. So e is equal to <coughs> factorial seven upon 7 minus 2 means factorial 5 into factorial 2 upon 10 c2 means factorial 10 upon 10 minus 2 means 8 factorial into 2 factorial so this can be written as factorial 8 into factorial 2 upon 10 c2 means factorial 8 into 10 into 9 or 9 into 10 so factorial 8 cancel factorial 2 cancel Again, 7 factorial means factorial 5 into 6 into 7. So, factorial 5 cancel again. Therefore, 7 into 6. So, this cancel upon 10 into 9. So, here again you get 7 upon 15. Therefore, probability of x is equal to 2, 2 balls are white balls, so e is equal to 7 upon 50. And lastly, you have to come put the expected number of white balls drawn. Therefore, you have to find the probability or you have to find expectation e of x. Then, by definition of mathematical expectation, we have e of x is equal to 
summation of x into p of x. So here x take the value 0 and its probability is 1 upon 15 then plus x take the value 1 and its probability is 7 upon 15 And then plus 2 into 7 upon 15. So is equal to 0 into 1 upon 15 means 0 plus 7 upon 15 plus 14 upon 15. Therefore, here denominator is same so e is equal to denominator is 50 c1 plus 14 c1 plus 14 is equal to 21 upon 15 therefore e of x required expectation e is equal to 21 upon 50 or you can write c1 upon <coughs> 5 so this is the Answer. Again, we see one more example. Example number two. <clears throat> if capital X and capital Y are two independent random variables. independent random variables with means 10 and 20 and variances four and six then find number one expectation of C1x plus 5y and number 2 find variances variance of 2x plus 3y solution now you know the formula Here, x and y are two independent random variables, means covariance between them is zero. Covariance of x, y is equal to zero. <coughs> so, we know that first formula, that is expectation of a into x plus b into y is equal to a into e of x plus b into expectation of y. Therefore, here you have to find expectation of 7x plus 5y is equal to, so by your theorem or properties, 7 into expectation of x plus 5 into expectation of y. So you have given expectation of x is 10. C1 into 10 plus 5 into expectation of y is given 20. 
So this is equal to seventy plus hundred. So is equal to one hundred seventy. Therefore, expectation of seven x plus five y is one hundred seventy. And number two, again your theorem. We know that variance of a x plus b y is equal to here capital X and capital Y are independent random variables. Therefore, their covariance between them is zero. Therefore, a is equal to a square into variance of x plus b square into variance of y. Therefore, here variance of two x plus three y is equal to two square into variance of x plus three square into variance of y. So two square is four, and variance of x is given. What is variance of x? Four. Four and six are respective variances. So four into four plus three square means nine into variance of y is six. So is equal to sixteen plus fifty four. And is equal to fifty four plus sixteen seventy. Therefore, variance of two x plus three y is equal to seventy. So, in this way, you can solve so many examples. So, we stop here. Next lecture, we see moment generating function. Thank you.